Hello Hero War players, welcome back to Eagle Eye Gaming if you are already a member and welcome if you are new to our channel. My name is Asad and in today's video, I will discuss about top 5 support or control character in Hero Wars mobile version. It is not Nebula or Jorgen because this game has changed so much during few months after rework of some heroes and addition of few heroes and we need to know what support heroes perform better at late game. And thank you so much my friends for completing target of 50 likes on my previous video in just 20 hours. Target for this video is to get 60 likes. Let's see in how much time do we get to our target. Before starting topic, if you haven't already subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and support our channel just for free. So without wasting any time, let's start the topic. I will categorize this list in 5 ranking. And on rank 5 of the list, we have Elvenor. Elvenor is support slash match character and plays at front line. He provides extra benefit to elf tribe and is also beneficial with other teams. His special skill is his fourth skill which decrease the opponent basic attack while if the allies are from elf tribe, they get the benefit regardless of the skill activation. He can also slow down the opponent with his first skill. His healing power is so powerful and heal elf tribe at double rate. His first artifact increase magic attack so he is useful with magic team and with elf team. On rank 4 we have Helios. Helios is also mage slash support character and plays at backline in team and he deals ton of damage at late game if combined with a hero that can provide magic penetration with artifact like Faceless or Orion. He is mostly used for countering blender team or team that have got critical hit chance. Other than countering critical hit, his first and second skill deals good amount of damage and his third skill protect allies from physical attack with two spear. With his first artifact, he provides armor, which means he is useful against physical team or specifically against blender team. On rank 3rd, we have Sebastian. Sebastian is support hero and plays at middle line of the team. Sebastian removes negative effect from allies like stun and curse effect. Unfortunately, not so powerful like on web version which remove every type of negative effect. He do increase critical hit chance of allies with his second skill. With his fourth skill, he and his allies can deal extra power damage with critical hit each time. He also decrease the armor of nearest opponent so he is great with critical hit team or team that have got jet in back. His first artifact increase physical hit. On rank 2nd we have Phobos and Faceless do. They both are mage slash control and work tremendous against mages team. Faceless first artifact provide penetration to mages and Phobos provide magic defense with artifact while faceless fourth skill provide magic defense they both have got stun skill like phobos with his first skill stun one opponent while faceless with his second skill which stun four opponents i will make dedicated video on their synergy and will discuss about their synergy in detail in short they are great against magic based team on top of the list we have Judge. Judge is match slash support hero and plays at middle line. He cast shield in start of battle on rightmost and leftmost ally which can absorb all type of damage from opponents. He slow down the opponent team with his third skill. He stun all opponents with his fourth skill when he use ultimate and deals good amount of damage to opponents. He is super defensive hero at late game because he slow down opponents and stun them mostly. Also protect two allies with shield. His first artifact increase magic attack which means he is great with magic based team. That was it for today guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed and learned something from this video. If so, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in next video. Bye.